So I have here with me uh, John Firebow from uh, Mapbox, um, and you've been doing a lot of work on the OpenStreetMap website, um, so that's a lot of Ruby on Rails code, isn't it? Maybe you could uh, introduce a little bit how the website's put together with OpenStreetMap. Mm -hmm. So it's built with a framework called Rails, uh, which is uh, software for building web applications and in a language called Ruby. So it's a pretty popular framework. And that's what implements the whole UI that you see when you go to OpenStreetMap.org. Um, and it allows for browsing the map and uh, the API that the editors like ID and JOSM are built on. So the API and the website are all Ruby on Rails, aren't they? Um, and it's the view of the map on the front page. Well, that's kind of uh, JavaScript and tiles and all sorts of other things coming in. But then you've got right. the diary entries and the user accounts and, uh, uh, and the tracking of the edits and the kind of wiki style history visualization of all Ruby on Rails. Right. Is that the kind of thing you've been uh, looking at improving lately? Yeah, so the, the two areas that I work on uh, at Mapbox and for OpenStreetMap are the editor ID and the design and the feature set of the website uh, is something that I've been focusing a lot on lately. And uh, one of my colleagues, Salmon, gave a talk at State of the Map US in June uh, presenting a vision for the website. And uh, he and I have been working together to implement parts of that vision. So I'll be talking here at State of the Map, the international conference, uh, giving a follow-up to that vision and talking about what we've accomplished so far and where we're going next. So the kind of things that uh, everyday users of OpenStreetMap will see on the website, obviously the, the rollout of ID was a big moment. Um, and it's, it's now the default editor, so click edit on the map and you get launched into this new, brand new editor with the I love the, the uh, user-friendly walkthrough feature that it has as well to, uh, to really introduce new users to OpenStreetMap and show them how to edit. Right. Um, one, of the, one of the goals of our work has really been to improve the onboarding experience for new users, uh, make it a kinder, gentler uh, learning curve. It's very impressive stuff. I think it's, I think it's uh, working well. Hopefully we'll see more new users having a, having a gentler introduction to OpenStreetMap. It is still... Uh, a vector-based editing environment though, isn't it? It's still kind of, um, you're launched into this slightly alien world of being able to edit a map. What, what kind of things are you doing to try and make it easier within ID? Well, there's the walkthrough that you mentioned, which is a first-time editing experience um, that gives you an introduction to uh, the basic kinds of operations that you will be doing in the editor, like drawing roads, drawing uh, areas, and, uh, giving things tags, like naming things, uh, saying what they are. And the other thing we're doing, uh, and we're spending a lot of time on, is building a preset system so that you don't have to know the ins and outs and the details of the OpenStreetMap tagging system. You can say, this is a cafe, uh, it has internet, uh, its opening hours are from 9 to 5. Uh, and that'll be, all be easy to fill out without having, without having to know too many internal yeah. details. The presets are important, aren't they? It kind of takes a little bit of the mystery out of the out of tagging. Um, there's been some talk as well of uh, improving the social interactions on OpenStreetMap um, on the website, so you get an easier view of what different people are editing in an area. Is that, is that some of the work that you're? working on at the moment as well? Uh, that's not something that we've uh, focused on as of yet, um, but uh, it's on our radar, um, and we'll have something to uh, talk about, some, some, uh, some mock-ups of what uh, a new user page could look like in the talk tomorrow. Cool, definitely looking forward to the talk tomorrow. Uh, so how are you finding the conference so far? Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, the venue is nice. Uh, everything's pretty, very uh, close together, so it's very convenient. Pretty lively here, isn't it? Coming together of uh, all of our friends that we've met on IRC and that sort of thing. I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, Harry.